Do you agree with his assessment, Ralph Rangnick, that it could take two or three transfer windows to get Manchester United to a better place where they're challenging again? Absolutely. I think for, for, for Manchester United not to be challenging, I think they'd want the season to stop now, if, if it could, and, and forget about Champions League because they're not going to compete next year in the, in the Champions League if they qualify for it. I think they have to rebuild, rebuild the squad, rebuild everything around the first team, around the club, to make sure they put themselves in a position for in three years' time, two, three years' time, they can actually go and challenge again for the Premier League. When you mentioned in terms of rebuilding the squad, but the first thing they have to sort out who the new manager is, there's been a lot of talk that it could be Pochettino or Ten Hag, or you know, there could be someone else out there. Who do you think is most suited to Manchester United? I think Pochettino has done it in, in the Premier League. He knows the Premier League. Um, he's got a... At Tottenham, he brought a lot of young players through. At Southampton as well, he brought a lot of young players through. So, if I'm choosing from one of them two, that's who I'd choose. I'd go with Pochettino and, and give him time. I think for, for managers now, they need time to come in and, and actually put their blueprint on the club, on the team. And if you give him time, I think he'll do well. You talk about then an overhaul of the squad, but it's not easy to sort of get certain players out who you want. Can they get the players they want who are in? But in terms of some of the players that are there right now, you've got someone like Paul Pogba, you, you played with. His contract's up at the, in, in the summit. It looks like he's going to move on. Would you be fighting tooth and nail to keep him with the club, or do you think it's better if he moves on? I think it's got, probably got to a point now where it probably is better for him to move on. And I think if Paul is honest with himself, he probably hasn't had the impact um, he would have liked um, since he returned to Manchester United. And I watch him play for France, and it's a completely different player. Um, the ability, everything, his vision, control of the game is, is, is there every game for France. And it just ha quite, hasn't quite worked at Manchester United for him. And I think they need to really, there's a few players they need to is that down let to, go. Sorry, is that down to him, do you think? Or do you think that's just the structure or the setup of the team and the club? It's, it's what I said before, there, there hasn't been a settled manager there, um, probably since Alex Ferguson. Um, so I think whoever comes in, they need to give them time. Um, they need to give them time to build up relationships with players. How um, much time they went? Because Solskjaer had three years. Yeah, I, I, I get that, but I think they were going through a transition period. Um, it, it didn't work. I think that's, that's obvious it didn't work with Oli um, in the end. Um, I don't think it's worked with the new manager now who, who's come in. Um, so I think Pochettino, is a, in my opinion, is a top manager. Um, he knows how to work with... Top class players, but also with young players. And I think they need to get that blend right because they can't afford to, to fail again. I wanted to ask you about another of your, your old Manchester United teammates, Ronaldo. Now, you know, Jamie said right from the start of the season, he felt it was a mistake, really, to bring him back to, to Manchester United. What's your take on that? Has it worked? You'd have to say no at the minute. I think he scored goals. He scored important goals in the Champions League early on in the season. He scored, obviously, the hat trick against Tottenham. But I think if you're looking to the future of the club, you, you have to go with younger, hungry players to, to do the best to lift Manchester United over these next two or three years. And obviously Cristiano is getting on a bit. Um, he, he certainly obviously isn't the player he was when he was in his 20s. So, um, and that happens, that's, that's football. But he's, he's a goal threat. But I think the rest of the game, um, I think they need, they need more and they need young, hungry players. So when you look at that Manchester United squad, if, if we're saying that, that Pogba isn't one that should be staying and Ronaldo perhaps should be moving on. Who are you looking at in that squad that the next manager can build around? I think, as I said, they've got good young players. I think Sancho will be better next year. Um, I think Marcus um, will be better next year. Um, they've got good young players. I think Jesse Lingard should be playing um, for them because he brings energy, he brings quality. Um, Scott McTominay's done well. So they have got some, some good young players. They just have to get that confident, get them confident, get them believing that the, the good players and, and perform at a better level. And, and then, obviously, whoever the new manager is, he'll bring, I'm sure he'll bring his own players in and, and try and um, rebuild that group. And, and what about at the back? What about Harry Maguire? I like, I like Harry. Um, I, I, I know Harry personally. Um, he hasn't been in his best form this season, like um, a lot of players haven't. Um, and then you look at England, he goes to play for England and he looks like a, a world-class centre-back. So, um, again, a lot of his confidence, I think, the players need to, to feel winning again, to feel winning on a consistent